We donate profits from this channel to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and I hope you have your virtual bags packed because I would like to welcome you to the Norwegian Jewel. We are on a 12-night itinerary from Cologne, Panama to San Diego, California. This is a great itinerary where we flew into Panama City and stayed there at the Waldorf Astoria for three nights. Then we started the cruise in Cologne, Panama, transited the Panama Canal, and headed up the coast of Central America and Mexico. I would call the Norwegian Jewel a classic cruise ship. It was refurbished in 2018. There are 1,188 cabins and the stated capacity of the ship is just over 2,300 passengers. But we were talking with the general manager on board and he told us that on this cruise we are just over 2,200 passengers, but the next cruise, which will be during spring break, is going to have over 2,900 passengers. Now you may ask yourself, why is it possible to have so many passengers when the stated capacity is just over 2300? Well, as you know, some of the cabins on board cruise ships can accommodate more than two passengers. Many can accommodate up to four passengers in a single room. The crew on board this sailing is about just over 1,000 crew members. We were on this ship in 2019 when we went on a land and sea tour of Alaska. Well, that's enough about the ship. Why don't we get to our review of the Norwegian Jewels inside cabin. Our room was cabin 11587 located on deck 11 midship. On the Norwegian Jewel Alaska sailing, we booked an Ocean View cabin. Now, if you've watched our channel, you know that we stay in inside cabins pretty frequently on cruise ships. So our first impression when we entered our inside cabin was that, whoa, this is pretty small. This cabin is even smaller than we've become accustomed to. The bed stands are about nine inches wide and have two shelves on them. Of course, the bed stands are movable should you decide to have the room set up in a twin configuration. There are two lamps, one on each side of the bed, and each lamp has a USB port in them. Under the television are three shallow angled shelves. Next to these shelves is a full length mirror. There is an in-house phone located underneath the television. Beneath the phone are located two USB outlets and two US 110 volt outlets. There is 13 inches of clearance under the bed where you can easily store your suitcases. Across the room is a small vanity that has a stool to sit on as well as a dimming, large mirror and a magnifying mirror. There are two outlets at the vanity, one with a U.S. connection and the other with a European Union connection. There are three small shelves located above these outlets. Underneath the vanity is a small refrigerator. This is large enough to hold a bottle of wine. Also underneath the vanity is a very good 2200 watt ionic blow dryer with a concentrator available on the shelving above. The wardrobe area is a little challenging because of the proximity to the bathroom door as well as the entrance to the room. It's really impossible to open up the closet door and the bathroom door at the same time. The front half closet has a very small 
safe inside and this is not even large enough for a tablet. Underneath the closet are three very small drawers. Because storage is such a minimum in this inside cabin, we highly recommend that you bring magnetic hooks to assist with your storage. We'll put a link to those in the notes below. The left side closet has a fuller length hanging area with a small shelf on top, mostly occupied by your life vests. There are anti-theft hangers inside, but the length of the closet is long enough to hang slacks full length and many blouses. There is a small amount of room on the bottom of the closet to store shoes. There are two permanent hooks beside the bathroom as well as your air conditioning control. The bathroom has an angled configuration with the commode being at an angle to the wall opposite it. The commode itself is a very difficult position and if you have long legs you may have difficulty sitting down comfortably. There are shelves located above the toilet with more than enough storage room for most toiletries. There is a shelf underneath the sink with a trash can located in it and additional shelving available for your needs. There is a convenient grab handle located next to the commode for those who may need it. The shower itself is very nice because it does have full doors rather than a shower curtain. Inside the shower, you're going to find convenient grab handles for your safety, as well as a retractable clothesline, which is something that many of us look for if we need to refresh our clothes during our journeys. There's a removable shower nozzle and a couple of shelves located in the shower themselves. Toiletries are Norwegian branded products and in the shower you will find body wash and a combined shampoo and conditioner. There is also hand wash available next to the sink. Our final thoughts are that this is a really small cabin and we've stayed in many inside cabins during the years that we've cruised. If this is all you can afford, then great. Get an inside cabin and get out on deck and enjoy the rest of the ship. But if you can afford it, spend a little bit more money and get an ocean view cabin, a balcony cabin, or even a suite. One last thought is that we chose the location of this cabin based on where our friends were choosing their cabins. We didn't take the time to look at the deck plans and see what is located above us, which is the buffet, otherwise called the garden cafe. There was a lot of noise because of foot traffic and traffic from the crew above us all day and all night. That was our mistake for not checking the deck plans and seeing what was located above and below our cabins. We definitely don't recommend picking a cabin midship on the 11th floor. If you need to accommodate more than two persons, there are bunk beds that fold out of the wall. There are inside cabins that accommodate up to four persons. However, if you are looking for a room that accommodates only two persons, be cautious not to book one of these rooms as you may be hitting your head when trying to exit the bed. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. And thanks for joining us from the Norwegian Jewel for the sailing from Cologne, Panama to San Diego, California.